I'm Josh Grubb, Service Center Engineer for Smith Services, a part of Timken Power Systems. I have here an AC foam pole. This is a standard design of one of our smaller horse, horsepower motors. Today, I'd like to take you through the manufacturing process and highlight some of our capabilities. Please note, this is not intended to be used as a step-by-step -step guide. Right now, I'm standing in front of our AC coal manufacturing department. We have eight technical experts with over 175 years of combined experience. They are backed by our team of five engineers that work together to determine the most optimal winding system for our customers. We manufacture coals for anything from small motors to motors that are rated in the thousands of horsepower with voltage classes up to 7,200 volts. The industries we service include power generation, mining, chemical, pulp and paper, and metal manufacturing. Being able to perform this process in-house allows us to reduce cost and time for our customers. When changes to coal design or fitment need to be made, our experts can do them immediately instead of having to rely on a vendor and rate waiting for a sample coal shipment. Added to that, Smith Services stands by our work and offers a one-year manufacturer's warranty on our complete winding system. I'm standing here in front of one of our winding machines, also known as a looper with Eric, one of our shop technicians. Using the looping machine is the first step in our coal manufacturing process, which determines the amount of turns that are present in our coal winding. This particular coal is going to be used in a 1500 horsepower motor. Eric has already set the distance up properly on our machine. He will begin by securing our wire into the machine so that it does not come loose during looping. start the process of looping and counting his turn. Once he reaches the correct number of turns, he'll begin to add scotch tape to ensure that the coal keeps its form after being removed from the machine. This is what your coal will look like after removal from the looper machine. We'll now move on to the second process, which is spreading the coal into the proper shape. I'm standing here at one of our spreader machines with another one of our technicians, Josh. During this process, he will take one of our loop coals and form it so that it properly fits inside of our stator frame. Josh will begin by putting our loop coal into the spreader, spreader machine. We will lock down the first side. Lock down the opposite side. The machine then forms the coal into the proper shape, and Josh will use his hammer to make additional adjustments. After the coal is formed, he will then bend his exit leads into the proper shape. This is how your coal will look after removal from the spreader machine. This completes step two. We will now continue on to step three, insulating your coal. I'm standing here at our automatic taper with our technician Zane. This is where we will begin uh, step three of our process, insulating our coal. Zane will begin by attaching his tape to the coal and starting to apply the proper amount of layers. He's now flipped his coal and he will begin insulating the opposite side. And this completes the insulating of our coal cells. After the coal is moved, removed from the automatic taper, Zane will then finish insulating the coal by hand. So now we have our fully insulated coal. We've used our automatic taper to apply ground wall insulation to our cell. We've hand taped our knuckles with ground wall insulation and added armor tape to the overall coal. We're now prepared to go to our final step, electrical testing. I'm here with our technician, Alan. We will now do some electrical testing to verify our coal and the integrity of our insulation system. First, he'll connect his leads to the first coal. He will then adjust his voltage to the appropriate level. Once he has the proper voltage, he will reference this waveform. We then move his leads to the second coal. 
perform the same tests and the waveform should match. This is our final product, fully insulated, electrically tested, insulation integrity has been verified and it is ready to install into a stator. For more information about our services, please visit smithservices.com.